नेक्स्ट वन इज अल्ट्रा वायलेट रेस फर्स्ट डिस्कवर्ड बाय रिटर इन 1801 व्हेन ही स्टडीइंग द इलेक्ट्रॉन डिस्चार्ज ट्यूब्स सो अल्ट्रा वायलेट रेस the have the wavelength from 10 to the power of minus 9 meters to 4 into 10 to the power of minus 7 meter this is wavelength range the major source for the ultraviolet rays is sun rays naturally the radiation which is emitting which is emitted by the sun major of its radiation is uv radiation only but the ozone layer which is above the height of 40 to 50 kilometers from the earth surface is filtering or completely absorbing or reflecting the ultraviolet rays but because of the chlorofluorocarbons which are released by the different electronic devices like computers refrigerators the cfc's are damaging the ozone layer and these ultraviolet rays are directly falling onto the earth and this is directly falling on the skin of the human beings and human beings are getting skin cancers melanin effect tanning of the skin these type of diseases so if this is the small information about the ultraviolet rays what are the ways we can produce the ultraviolet rays artificially or in lab through electronic discharge tubes or electric discharge tubes if these ultraviolet rays are falls on the skin of the human beings which causes to skin cancer tanning of skin but what is the main use of this ultraviolet rays if these ultraviolet rays are passed through the water which can kill the germs which causes for the many diseases killing germs in water or in any liquid not only water because we are taking water dilute is which is very essential for our life that's why i am taking this example and uh, one more example of uh, this ultraviolet rays is the rays which are coming out of the welding if you observe the welders they will have a special goggles they have a special goggles or face masks which are made up of glass window what is the reason the rays which the radiation which is coming out of the welding process is uv radiation which has short wavelength which causes to the damage of the eyes so which is have a short wavelength and which can produce a narrow beam because of this narrow beam structure this uh, ultraviolet rays are useful in a operation called lasik what is this lasik laser assisted in situ keratomyelitis which is useful of this operation which can be done to the eyes or maybe uh, some uh, which, is, which is useful to remove the retina like that and uh, this example is very much useful in ultraviolet rays exception these gamma rays are useful in many ways before this one we have discussed the use of these things and uh, one more example of the ultraviolet rays is uh, uh, we can uh, see like this to find out the forged documents fingerprints in forensic laboratory So now we are watching this uh, forged documents technology, fingerprints technology to um, uh, to reveal the secrets behind the death mysteries and many mysteries. So UV rays are helpful in like that. 
and uv rays are very much useful to preserve the food that's why drinking water and food materials if you see uv treated food materials and uv treated water which can be stored for a long time that is the main purpose and third one these uv rays are very much useful to find out the internal structure of the molecules and the arrangement of electrons in the shells internal structure of molecules and arrangement of electrons in shells these are the more uses of the ultraviolet rays these are very very important to for our daily purpose also especially in preserving food we have now every the members in the society are addicted to the fast foods and the storage food so if we go to the summer season everyone is addicted to the almost the uh, soft drinks like uh, fruity or thumbs up or seven uh, up tins like that if you see any fruity or uh, any pouch of the liquids uh, like juices they will have a uv treated coat if they don't if they didn't uh, treat it with the uvs okay uv rays uh, the germs will in increasing in that order and which will be the contamination of the food next we will discuss about the x rays discovered by randjan in 1895 randjan is the first nobel laureate in physics so in 1895 when he is studying the cathode rays which is uh, coming out of a photosensitive material and these cathode rays are completely stopped by metal targets which are having high melting point so cathode rays completely stopped by the metal target in this way we can produce the x rays so the absorption of the cathode rays by a metal target of a high melting point is the main way to produce the x rays high melting points 10 to the power of minus 12 meters to 10 to the power of minus 8 meters wavelength what is the use of this x rays x rays can able to show the hidden objects inside the body like fractured bone second one hidden bullet third one hidden needle or any other costly material what is the reason if these are completely absorbed by the metal targets of high melting point the cathode rays what is the reason to observe the hidden parts because these rays can penetrate through the photosensitive materials and transparent materials penetrates through photosensitive or transparent materials this is the main uses of the x rays and x rays are also used to find out the crystal structures bragg's diffraction crystal structure also in case of solid crystals uh, if you want to see the internal structure of the uh, any crystal maybe fcc bcc scc bragg's law n lambda is equal to 2d sin theta formula so in that way we can find out the internal gaps cracks and uh, uh, difficulties and the defects of the crystal by using the x ray next one gamma rays
these gamma rays are first discovered by Becquerel and Madame Curie in 1896. Their wavelength range is minus 14 meters to 10 to the power of minus 10 meters. This is the wavelength range of gamma rays. What are the sources to produce the gamma rays? Any natural or artificial radioactive materials. Radio active materials like uranium, thorium, radium, octinium, these are all the radioactive material series. So, from this point, we can understand one more point is these radioactive materials will participate in nuclear reactions. That's why the radiations which are released in the nuclear reactions are nothing but gamma rays. The radiations which are released or exhausted in nuclear reactions is or are gamma rays. These gamma rays can uh, react with the photosensitive materials. Their main use is to useful for the treatment of cancer. These rays are useful in treating the cancer or treatment of cancer. So this is the information about the gamma Race. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.